Um, the subject's pretty clear. I think you want to start with that statistic at the beginning as your attention device and then transition more to the subject. And you've got a, a story that you tell that goes on a long time. I think that the story is necessary. You need to edit it a little bit because this it adds to your personal credibility. It does involve us in the process, um, but it's not always getting us as quickly to uh, the the crux of your argument. It sounds like an informative speech for the first half of the speech, and I'm just going to describe to you what happens uh, in this particular situation. I think, uh, like I said, it enhances your credibility that you're talking about this from a personal point of view. I think that you could probably do some additional uh, information in the presentation. So each time you're, you're going from one of those parts of the story about uh, what the process of the procedure is, you've got some more information that you plug in. So for example, when you're talking about the, all the fines and fees that you have to pay, uh, if you had some information about how much uh, annually people lose on this, or you've got some other stories about other people who ran into problems. They didn't have the, the support of their family. They didn't have uh, the lawyer that helped them out and what the consequences were. To me, the strongest part of your argument was in the last two minutes of the speech when you're talking about your own feelings when you went to the uh, MAD seminar and heard the speakers talking, and when you were in uh, the jail talking to the uh, nursing student who basically their career just got shot in the foot. Uh, because of this incident. Both of those are good, strong, emotional situations. And then right at the end, you have this nice, you know, you, you really, it gets out of the part where I'm just describing what's going on and telling the story and talking about how you feel about what happened. You know, I, I, I'm so embarrassed with my mother. I know I had a hard time looking her in the eye. I, I know she's supportive and loves me, but geez, I feel like I disappointed her. And that's when you get some good emotional connection into the speech. So I, it just takes a while to get to that particular point. Uh, if I look back at it, I'm listening to the structure. I'm going, okay, well, there's the procedural stuff that's a problem. There are the cost issues that are a problem. There are the ramifications that are a problem. That's kind of the way the structure is. And I think that because you have that long story at the beginning that we get lost in that. I like the idea of the story. Here's a serial example that we're going to go through. Uh, but you need to kind of break from the story sometimes, get to that particular point, talk about that a little bit, and then go back to the story and talk about the next thing. And I think that that would uh, work a little more effectively. All right. Thank you.